This is National 5, it's exam practice. We're looking here at uh, the standard grade credit, 2005, paper 2, question 7. So David walks on a, a bearing of 050 degrees from hotel A, so from here. And remember bearings are always measured clockwise, so they're always measured clockwise from north. And he, he walks on that bearing from hostel A to V, the viewpoint, and that's 5 kilometres away. Hostel B is due east of Hostel A, so that would tell me that uh, the angle between the two of these is going to be a right angle, okay? So that's a right angle that's there, from north to there. If you go east, that's going to be 90 degrees, or 090. Right, Susie walks on a bearing, uh, 294 degrees from Hostel B, to the same viewpoint. Right, so let's, let's draw that up. I'm going to calculate the length of AB. Uh, that will be the distance between the two hostels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this uh, this triangular diagram about. I'm going to put uh, a north line in here. So that's going to be north. And I know that uh, Susie walks on a bearing of 294 degrees from hostel B. Always measured from this way here. So from there all the way around. All the way around to here and to there. That's going to be 294 degrees. Okay. So, I'm needing some more information in this triangle to, to help me work out this length that's here, if I'm going to use some sort of trigonometry for it. So, what I've got here is, if that's 50 degrees there, well, the angle in here must be 40 degrees. So, that'll be a 40 degree angle for that one. This angle here, I can work out. I can work that out by looking at the angle from there all the way around to there. So that angle there, remember, is going to be 270 degrees. So the angle that's going to be in here will be left with 24 degrees in there. So what I have is I've got 40 degrees here and I've got 24, say 24 degrees in there. Now, that still doesn't help me enough to try and work this out, but whenever I've got two angles in a triangle, what I can do is I can work out the third angle, and that would be that would be worth trying to do that one there. So, if I add these two together, I've got 64, so angles in a triangle add up to 180, minus 64, so that should give me an answer of 116. So in here, 116 degrees. So I think that's me kind of set up, ready to, to go ahead and do this question. Right, so I'm thinking about the rule that I'm going to have to use for it. And uh, the first thing I'm thinking about, obviously it's not a right angle triangle, so I can't use any of the, the, uh, the, the rules from there, or the ratios from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the sine rule first of all. What I need for the sine rule is I need an angle, and I need a side across from it. The only side I've got is this one, and I know the angle across from it. Yep, and I know the angle here, so I can use the sine rule to, to work that out. So I can look at the uh, the, the formula list at the, the front of my test paper, and I can see what the, the sine rule is. So I'm going to use the sine rule. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the letters around. I'm going to start with the one I'm trying to work out. So remember, that will be a small v. That there will be a small a. This one here, the 5, is going to be a small b. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say that small v over sine v is equal to, and I'll just put b first here because that's one that I can see I'm going to use, small b, which will be the, the length of the side, divided by sine b, which equals small a over sine a. But I know I'm not going to use this one here because I don't have the side across from it. I don't know anything about that. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to substitute the values that I know. So I know that uh, V is the one that I'm trying to work out. So V all divided by sine 116 is going to be equal to B, which is going to be across from B, it'll be that side there, 5, divided by sine of 24 degrees. From there, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to multiply, if I'm dividing here, I'm dividing by sine 116, I'm going to multiply by saying 116 on the other side. So what I have is V is equal to 5, and that will be times sine 116, all divided by sine 24 degrees. 
So when I use the multiply that out in the calculator, what I come up with is 11.0488, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round it to one decimal place. So it's going to be 11.0 and we're working in kilometres. That would be the question complete. So maybe just make a statement just at the end that uh, the length of AB. So just going up a bit. So the length of AB, remember that's the, the distance between hostels is 11.0 kilometres. And that would be it. Right, so let's see how we're going to get our marks for this question here. What I'll go for is, I'm going to go for one mark for getting this angle and this angle. That's one mark. One mark for getting this angle, so that's two so far. I'll get one for, I want to set up the sign uh, rule uh, properly. I'll go for one mark for adjusting it to know that uh, I'm going to have to go for five sine 116 divided by sine 24 degrees. And then finally one mark for my answer. So that will be out of five marks.